This XDM Elite chambered in 10 millimeter is just what the fans of the XDM series have been asking for. Chambered with 10 millimeter and lots of power, this pistol comes packed with 15 rounds of capacity here in the magazines. You're gonna get your XDM Elite features being the meta trigger on there, which they say it's one of the best striker fired triggers on the market. It is pretty darn good. Do I think it's the best? No. Do I think it's good? Yes. Magazines, you got a nice magwell on here with a nice magwell funnel. In addition to that, with the XDM series of pistols, the controls on here are fully ambidextrous. You have ambidextrous slide release, ambidextrous magazine release. And again, on all the XDM pistols, you have your beaver tail grip safety on there. Not a huge fan of the grip safety myself. However, what I will say is that people like to trash that grip safety. What I will tell you is that I have zero issues ever in thousands of rounds through now all these XDM pistols, and I have never had any issues whatsoever with that beaver tail. Next on here, this model you'll see it has the Hex Dragonfly red dot on it. The red dot on here is nice. Uh, sometimes if you're, depending on what type of environment you're going to use this pistol in, are you going to use it for a backcountry gun, carrying it on your hip or something like that, or a, a chest rig, you might not want this particular red dot. And the only reason I say that is it's an open emitter, so that really, you know, like an RMR, if it gets really dirty, gets a lot of crud in the glass or on the emitter, you are not going to get a red dot image. And what that brings us to a slight issue here is that we don't have co-witness height iron sights. However, the iron sights on here are nice. They are fiber optic, the U-notch white rear on here. And if you could, you could easily take this off. And we're probably going to end up shooting it a little bit like that today because I still like to shoot iron sights at times. Red dots are the way of the future. And then obviously too, you can get other adapter plates if you want to mount like a hollow sun or your Trigicon, or if you want to get another adapter plate and even possibly put a 509T or an Acro or something like that on here, you could do that as well. With this pistol, it has a four and a half inch cold hammer forged barrel. It is fully supported, ramped, everything like that that you know from Springfield. And it just, everything on here, I took a few shots out of here. It seemed accurate to start with. I'll have to put quite a few more down range today before we get any further. The pistol itself is rather heavy, which is okay with me because the 10 millimeter round is very, very hot. It's hotter than your 40 cal, less than, you know, 45 is a little bit more of like a push, not so much a snap. But this pistol and overall size and weight makes that pretty easy to actually shoot. And so far, I'm super happy with it. And we're gonna shoot it some more today so you guys will get to see that recoil management and things like that and see what you, you can expect when you're shooting a pistol like this with that type of caliber. A 10 millimeter in itself can be used in a wide variety of situations. You know, whether you're backcountry hunting and you need a bear gun for backup or if you need a home defense gun, if you're carrying it for duty, you could easily carry a 10 millimeter for duty. You know, nine millimeter sometimes might not be enough for some people. Nine seems to be okay for myself, but for somebody else who wants a little bit more, 10 is an excellent option. And frankly, if you had to choose between a 40 cal or 10 millimeter, I would say choose a 10 millimeter. So let's shoot this a little bit today. We'll go over a few other things in this pistol and we'll tell you guys some final thoughts what we think of this brand new 10 millimeter, four and a half inch XDM Elite. When I'm reviewing a new pistol or something I haven't shot before, I want to run you guys through this so that you can understand step by step what I like to do. So we're going to get this pistol charged up. I'm going to go through the trigger pull on this gun now. This is the meta trigger on here. And so the trigger pull, as you come back, you get a pretty mushy wall to start with and you come back and you get some pretty good tension and then it breaks. It's a little bit on the Frankly, it's a little bit almost on the long side, but overall the weight and everything like that seems to be pretty good. I don't really mind it too much and I actually seem to enjoy the overall weight. But with this trigger, I shoot Glock triggers really well. This one's quite a bit different than that, frankly, and how you get to a wall and how it breaks and everything like that. It has take up at the beginning, okay? And it's not super heavy take up or anything like that. Take up is short, it's light, and you can still feel a little bit of that shoe on your pad and then you could break the shot. And it's not bad. And really, the pistol itself shoots pretty darn good. I Really, for being 10 millimeter, it's really not bad to shoot. Okay, so 
Compared to the XDM Elite 9mm pistol, the full size OSP, even a threaded barrel, suppressor height sights, this is considerably snappier than that. I will say that 10 mil, just you get that. However, it's still a pretty darn manageable pistol to shoot, and you could certainly be accurate. with your follow-up shots in addition to that. Really not having any issues, you know, getting those rounds all to hit that B8 circle up here at about eight yards. And really that's what I'm looking for. It, Cause if you, let's say had to use this pistol in a self-defense type situation, close range, you would need to put those shots down range on target and where you want your shots to hit very, very quickly. And if you don't do that, it might mean your life. As you guys can see, I have two different pistols here. I have a 10 millimeter Ronin from Springfield, and then we have our new comer to the game, the 10 millimeter XDM Elite. This is a great comparison. Uh, obviously 1911s themselves shoot really, really well with hotter loads, whether 10, 45, things like that. Nine millimeter feels like a little like baby's gun, just real easy to shoot. So what I wanna do ultimately is compare the two full size ones and see how they shoot compared to each other side by side, right after each other. And both of these are offerings from Springfield. First, we're gonna start here with our XDM Elite. And 10, let's do about 10 rounds. Go into the old Ronin. This is probably one of my most favorite pistols to shoot. I absolutely love shooting this thing in 10 millimeter. Very easy shooting gun. Recoil wise, just. Let's get another one through that Ronin. So what I'll tell you is that Really, that XDM Elite on there, one, the red dot helps. Having a red dot on your handgun is just really modern age and something nice to have. But what I'll say too is that the XDM Elite, that polymer frame handgun like that, is actually really easy to shoot. And I don't know that I could really say that this Ronin is easier to shoot than that. I think. In some way, the overall action and things like that feels a little bit smoother, which to be expected, it is a, a 1911. But overall, pretty darn impressed with the XDM Elite and 10 mil. About a week or so ago, I took a class from Achilles Heel Tactical. They did a drill at the end of the class, which I really appreciated. It's called the dope drill. Basically with that drill is you took five shots on the buzzer and shot them as fast as you could at the target from five, 10, 15, 20, and 25 yards. Basically showing yourself where your shots fall off and where you can no longer be accountable for your shots hitting the target. You're basically, again, it's showing you how you shoot at a, at a pace that you'll shoot in a self-defense situation. Nobody gets out of self-defense and pop, pop, pop. You know, as soon as you have to come out, it's bang, 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 as fast as you can shoot. So what I wanna do is we're gonna run through that. So we'll start first at five yards. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So go back to 10. Come on, come on up here, I'll show you guys. So this is perfect example. So you'll see here with this 10 mil, is that really at 10 yards, as fast as I can shoot, trying to get them, what have we done here? We've accomplished nothing, okay? So I wanna stop there. Go back to 10 yards again. All right. So that one was quite a bit better. So 
So here we go. We got one, two, three, four, and five. So quite a bit better there on that one. So really what you're noticing now with this drill is that as you go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, where you can start to fall off. I had to essentially go back to 10 in order to get that and really work on the fundamentals of shooting in order to truly get those hits on paper. So it's a wonderful drill to do. Something I can highly recommend is going to Achilles Heel Tacticals classes. This is a little bit of a plug for him because I appreciate the classes a lot. But most importantly, this pistol from Springfield Armory, the new XDM Elite 10 mil, is one heck of a pistol and it's a great option for somebody looking for a full size 10 millimeter pistol that's frankly very easy to shoot. Mm -hmm.